Hello all and welcome to a blind bags opening video and today I've got for you 10 of these Toy Story blind bags to open. There are six characters to collect. Now I came across these in one of my late night trolls through Amazon looking for more blind bag products to feed my blind bag addiction and I saw these and I paid up a little bit for these to be honest with you I think but I love me some Toy Story and I thought you know what why not treat yourself. Yes I paid £17.24 for these for 10 of these to be delivered that's delivered i thought 17 pounds 24 was a rather a random amount but no that's not including delivery you know made odd by something 99 delivery no it, yep it's actually 17 pounds 24 so i've got 10 of these to open but wait there's a bonus in this video as well because after i've opened up 10 of these i have got for you a bonus at the end opening up another one of these and i say another one of these because in an episode of three blind bags i pulled this and opened up one of these and i got woody and i must be honest with you i think he won the episode and i was so impressed with the figure that when i was out and about actually out and about one day before lockdown i thought to myself do you know what i'll nab one of these and i will treat myself and I thought, well, how am I going to open up one on camera? And then it came to me. I thought, ah, I've got those 10 Toy Story blind bags. I will add it to the end of that video as a little bit of a bonus. So we are crossing our fingers already that we don't get Woody because he is the only one we already have. But I'm very much looking forward to opening it. And when I get to opening this, we'll go through these and we'll tell you who out of those that I really, really wouldn't mind getting. But for now, we have 10 of these. Now, six characters to collect as bad at maths as, as I am, I already know I'm going to get duplicates. But obviously, if I've got 10 of these, I can technically get them all. There's no technically about it. I can get them all. So that is what we're hoping for. But I, I did think that once I hopefully get all six and I'm down to getting duplicates, if I could get duplicates, I would love to get duplicates of the aliens. The perfect scenario would, would to be get all six of these and then duplicates be all aliens so I can have my own little army of aliens because... There were loads of them in the film, and to be honest with you, I really like the alien character as well. So that is why. So there are six to collect. They are all on the front here for us. They are made by the good people of Zuru who really want to push their website, so they've stuck it, stuck it underneath their logo there. So the six to collect, well, obviously Buzz and Woody were going to be there. There is Buzz striking a pose, trying to look a little bit sexy. There we've got Bullseye, who's just reared up and thrown Woody off the back. Is that why he's there and got his arms folded crossed? Because he's not so impressed with what Bullseye has just done. But yes, we've got Woody off course we have there we go as i already said we've got the alien there waving at us with his two fingers and a thumb maybe holding out a claw because he likes the claw the claw is his leader there we go we've got ham as well now i always thought ham was a little bit of a morbid name actually to call him because yes ham can, comes from pig it's a food that could be made from pig but Yes, it's exactly that. It's a food that can come from pigs. And you're naming him after something that he needs to be butchered for. But there we go. Ham with two M's. And finally, Rex. Rex the dinosaur, who's hopefully got a towel. Can't no, You think you'd see the towel. What's happened? Has, has Ham eaten your towel, fella? What's going on there? So those are the six that we can collect. There's the six that I'm hoping we get. And obviously, let's have loads of aliens after we get all six. Six bags, get all six. Then get loads of aliens. Perfect scenario. Will that happen? Stay tuned for the bonus Toy Story for Funko Mystery Mini Box. After we've opened up 10 of these. We've got Buzz and Woody on the front there. What have we got on the back, by the way? Nothing. Just the Toy Story logo. So, I, I, do you know, I, I almost thought that this was just for, you know, characters from the first film. But then I realised, having Bullseye on it, he appeared in the second film. And I'm pretty sure... He didn't appear in the first, unless there was some cameo in the background on a TV screen advertising Woody's Roundup that I missed. I'm pretty sure I didn't. So it's kind of Toy Story with someone from Toy Story 2 on it. All the others obviously appeared in both. I think all of the others actually appeared in all four, he says. Pretty sure. Yeah, you can get the alien in, in that box up there. Anyway, let's start opening these and hope... We get all six and lots of aliens as duplicates. We've got an easy tear strip. If it opens easily, we'll give it 9 out of 10 because that seems to be the thing that I do. So who is up first? Well, there's the base to put them on. Nice, easy to... Oh, look, we've got a, the letter T. So does that mean we've got someone beginning with T in here? No. B, B, A, W, H, and R. It'd be interesting to notice that all the stands are different. And we've got Bullseye first. We have Bullseye. So how does he attach to the stand? It's, oh yeah, it's got a little lug there on his foot, so that goes in there like that. And there we go, we have Bullseye. So that's a good start, obviously. We've got one of the one of the better characters, I think. I do like Bullseye, I think he's quite funky. That's a really nice moulding as well, actually. I am quite impressed with that, and the details on it. 
because a lot of the time I've noticed in these figures they mess up the eyes and the eyes look a little bit squiff and weird. But the paint job's not the best on it. I don't think the nose is quite going to where it's sort of lined out to be and the eyes have overrun a little bit. But, you know, when it's sat there at a distance like that, you're not really going to notice that too much. So, to be honest, as a quality of a little product, a little display figure there, quite impressed with that. I do like it. So let's put you here in the wall of Mega Drive games. As I say, I, I can pick a favourite from the 60 if I really want at the end, but if I get all six, it's going to be the alien. Gonna, I'm not going to lie. not going to lie. Okay, so pack two. Let's 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 not start badly. Let's get a, a different one straight away. Let's make a pile of rubbish on the floor somewhere. Right. Let's pull out the base. Do we get the let? We, we get the letter T as well. Oh, so the T is for Toy Story. It would have been a nice little touch if they had made it. You know, the first letter of of their character name as well. But there we go. So we've got our T stand. Will they be different or oh, or is it or is it Bullseye again? And it is. Oh, for God's sake, man. What a horrendous start that is, just to get two bullseyes. Paint job seems to be the same on that. Seems to be the same lack of quality on the paint job there. But at the same time, the figure as a whole isn't too bad. Oh, God's sake, we've got a double. Dude, let's not go with this. Please, please, let's not do this. Let's not do this. So why, why don't you go on? The other one went on a lot easier. It went, it went in straight away. Wow, that, that really doesn't want to fit. Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. We've got it in. It went in a lot easier first time. Okay, so you're going to have to sort of, yeah, we'll just keep you on shot here, you know, looking at the shoulder, wishing you could be part of the gang, but he came along first, you know, first come, first serve, I'm afraid. Okay. Hmm. Worried. Worried. This feels a bit too chunky to be another bullseye. Here we go. It's famous last words for you. Righty-ho. Number three of ten. Here's the base. The base is a T again. Can we get it on the base nice and easily? And we have... we got Rex. we got Rex, who does have a tail. There we go. Oh, God, look. He's, the eye on the left pupil is really big. And the eye on the right, as you look at it, that is, is really small. It's a little bit disturbing. Look a little bit spaced out there. But <laughs> for quality... Do you know, I was going to say, the, the, the quality of the plastic feels good, though. But again, from a distance, that looks all right. But you can really notice that one eye pupil is bigger than the other. Holding his hands together. I was going to say, yeah, because he's the scaredy dinosaur, isn't he? Okay, let's attach him to the base. And he can go next to Bullseye. Here, can we get him attached to the base first time, hopefully? Yes, there we go. Come on. Right, one double. One double. And it wasn't an alien. So we're not on target for the ideal, perfect, 100% scenario. But at least we've got a different one in the third packet. And we do not just keep duplicating already. Right, packet number four. Making sure I can count properly. Who have we got? Easy tear strip has worked again. Oh, I've just knocked Rex over. Sorry, Rex. And we've got a T on the Toy Story base. And we've got Woody. We've got Woody next to his horse. I'm just going to pick Rex back up. Sorry, fella. Maybe I should put you a bit more flat against the wall. Maybe I won't do it again. No promises. So there we go. We got Woody. And that is, yes, no no messing up on the eyes there. That is a really nice, do you know, wow, you can feel the quality, you feel actual real paint as well. Not just moulded plastic. Really nice attention to detail there. We've got the pull string on his back. We can't pull it, you know. Add your own noise, please. Hat is, a little, yeah, he's got the hat's on the, uh, a little bit on the sort of, on the tilt, trying to look suave, isn't he, with his arms crossed as well. And a contest with Buzz, I guess. Hopefully we'll get buzz as well. But we got Woody, so we got we got we're halfway there. In the words of Bon Jovi, we are halfway there. Living on a prayer that we get the whole lot. I hope. So there we go. There is Woody. So we can put we, we'll put Woody next to Bullseye because Bullseye is of course Woody's horse. I feel like we should put them all flat. Now we get a bit of a front on view of Bullseye. Cover up your decency, man. Right. Pack number five and the halfway mark. And we've got half of the figures and we've got one duplicate. And it was looking bad when we just got a duplicate straight away. This feels chunky, so it might be another Rex. There's the T. And is it... Oh, no, it's not. It's Ham. It's Ham. We're doing all right here. I hope I haven't put the mockers on this. We're doing all right. Ham's giving us a wink. But then again, he kind of famously did that in the film a little bit. Oh, his stopper's even coloured. Caught coloured as well. And bearing in mind, that's going to be the base and you're not going to see it. That is great attention to detail. That is a real quality figure. There we go. Even got the coin slot there. Obviously, that's not open. You wouldn't expect it to be. Hollowing out a figure like this would just be far too much. 
to expect from them. I know, but there's the curly little tail as well. Great moulding. You, you can barely see the moulding line. I'm really impressed with that. I do like that. Oh, do you know what? Come on. Don't let me down. Do you know what? I haven't got... I wanted loads of aliens. I haven't got one yet. Please do not let me down. Please be an alien. I will cheat a little bit if I get an alien. That is really nice. That is really nice. I can't get over that. Well, let's put him on his on his base and put him amongst the gang. Uh, put, put your back to the duplicate bullseye who's trying to creep into shot again, Ham. But there we go. Four out of six. And we've got, what? Another five... Five to open and two to aim at. One hopefully will be the eight. Come on, let's, let's get some aliens. Let's get some aliens. Right, there's the. It's always a T. And it is. It's Buzz! Well, I wanted loads of aliens and it's the last one I need. There's the Buzz with his arms folded. Again, the eyes are a little bit off. They, they kind of paint these eyes over, over his eyelids there. A little bit so they, they messed up a little bit on the eyes but the eyes are always the hardest part and you know what the quality of these figures as a whole with a couple of minor imperfections is pretty damn good as well is that it's supposed to sort of simulate that he's he's trying to take off flying or he is flying can't fly buzz you are just a toy you are a toy there we go i'm not gonna shout don't want to wake the neighbors not that they would be asleep. It's the middle of the day. Random. Okay, there we go. We've got Buzz. We are literally just missing the alien. This is going unbelievably... Do you know what? If you'd have said to me, you, you know, you're going to get five out of the six of them, I thought, do you know what? Even though I've got ten, that is great odds. I will take that now. I will snap your hand off. So there we go, Buzz. You can go into the wall as well. We actually almost haven't got room for the alien. The, the, the old bullseye will have to sort of shuffle off you if we get the alien. All oh, right, here we go. Alien me up, please. Alien me up. That would be awesome. We have our base, which is the T. It always is for Toy Story. And we have another Woody. We have another Woody. Oh, well. I was going to say, we were going to get duplicates. We're going to get duplicates. Uh, we'll, we'll put you on the stand anyway, for reasons, because we can. There we go. We've got two, we've got two Woodies to ride two bullseyes. There we go. Get on your horses, gentlemen. There we go. We'll have you just in view as well. There we go. Right. Is that three to go? No, that's an empty packet that's got in the way. We have opened up. So, yeah, we have got three to go. Ah, you're slid away. This one tried to slide away. This one feels really big, though, so it might be another ham. That is the worry. That is the worry we have. We've got, obviously, there's our T for Toy Story. Again, it is a ham indeed. These ones are very big and easy to work out what they are. All of a sudden. So we'll put ham on the base. We'll put ham on the base. There we go. Ham. There we go. Is that articulated? I thought it was articulated for a minute. It's just that one's not as nicely moulded as the other one. But then again, you, you know, hit rate and all that sort of stuff. Right, go over here in duplicate town, which you can't really see because those two. You can go, go in front of the other ham. He can sniff your butt. There you go. Look at that. That's a little bit, yeah, yeah a little bit disturbing. It's like human centipede with the ham the pig. Right. Here we go. Alien me up. Come on. Do not let me down. The one that I... <laughs> it's because I said I wanted it the most at the beginning, isn't it? As our T for Toy Story base. And we have... We've got Buzz again. We've got Buzz. Should we put the mockers on this and say I haven't got any multiple duplicates? At the moment, I've only got people duplicated once. There we go. Maybe you are the Spanish Buzz and it's a different figure. There's hopeful thinking. How's your eye... Uh, right, your eyes on this one have actually hit hit where they're meant to be, but for some reason one of them is a little bit weird in the fact it's got like a white strip over the middle of it. So the moulding, yeah, the paint, paint job on this one I've just pulled is slightly better just because they're in the right place. They're not over his skin, which is weird, so. But it doesn't matter for now. We can, we will, I'll probably have these on display because I like Toy Story. But uh, I can sort that out afterwards. That's not a problem. Okay, so we are down to the last pack. And we haven't had the alien. We haven't had the alien. The one that I bloody joked about, if I could pick a favourite, I'd pick the alien because I want him the most. Come on. Here comes the disapp uh, you know, impending disappointment. So we can only... We can only win. Right, T, impending disappointment, as I say. I'm expecting not to get the alien. It's not the alien. It is another bullseye. We've got three bullseyes. There we go. We did put the mockers on, getting things duplicated more than once. So... <laughs> Sod's law, I say I want the alien the most and I don't get the alien. Wouldn't it be f oh, wouldn't it be an irony if in that Toy Story 4 box 
there was the alien character. I had trouble getting the second... You know, your feet are all over the place. I don't know... Yeah, no wonder I'm having trouble getting you on. Right. Come on. No, no. Here we go. Right, that's it. Because that's important right now. Right, so there we go. So I know I picked on some little imperfections in some of the figures, but as a whole, these figures are actually really nice. They are nice pieces. And the five different ones that I've got will go on display. As I say, I kind of put all the ones that I find interesting on display or the ones that I have some sort of interest in on display or, or the cool ones. So these will go there. So we've got this box here, the Toy Story 4 box to uh, to open up and uh, as a little bonus for you. And as I say, it would be a certain irony if we do get um, get the uh, alien out of that, wouldn't it? So we need a little bit of room. So I'm going to move some of these duplicates aside. So duplicate Woody, duplicate Bullseye number one, duplicate Ham. Duplicate pulls out number two. You go aside and Spanish buzz. You can go over there as well. And there are our five different ones waiting for an alien to join them. So here we go. As we, as I said, I've opened, opened up one of these in episode of Three Blind Bags in the past. And I got Woody. And here are the odds of uh, what each character is. And Woody was a one in six. is one of the very common ones. And if I could have chosen one of the very common ones, I probably would have preferred Buzz over Woody because, you know, Buzz is a little bit cooler. And in that video, I struggled with the names of some of them. So I've learned a few more of them. Um, I'm hoping I can get them all nearly right. I say nearly right because this one here always throws me a little bit. But anyway, we've got Woody, we've got Buzz, we've got Bullseye again. We, we've had plenty of Bullseyes. No Bullseye, please. Jesse, there is a, a, a really small Rex. That, there is the alien. There is Bunny, and there is Ducky. We've got Bunny and Ducky. They're one in 24s each. Little Bo Peep, Forky, Vincent, who's a one in 72, who I would really like. I didn't know his name in the last one, but I've watched it. And there are three of them, but the one that gets named a lot, who seems to be the primary one of the three that they go with, is called Vincent. And I'm a horror movie fan. I love the sort of creepy nature about that character and that figure. So, yeah, I would like a one in 72 figure to get pulled. Yeah, great. So, um, no my luck, I'll get Rex, who's the same odds. But we've got Gabby Gabby. I believe that's something like Commando Cole or something. He has a very brief appearance. Didn't know the Eddie the Eagle star character, as I called him, but I, I've since watched the film twice since I did that video. He's called Duke Kaboom. And that is something like Officer Giggle McDimples, who appears a couple of times. She helps uh, Lost Toy Bo Peep. And then, obviously, finally, we've got Ducky as well. So, yeah, we've got odds all over the show there. I, I typically want a 1 in 72 or a 1 in 12. Forky would be quite cool at 1 in 24 as well. So, with that, I think it's time to stop talking. We've, yeah, we've got pictures of various characters on, on, on the boxes. And, of course, this is from Toy Story 4, and the 4 is being held up by Forky. So, here we go. Let's let's have a look. And here is our bonus opening for this video. comes in a black bag, which I'm hoping isn't insinuating it's rubbish. And we're having a feel. Do you know what? This is. I said I got Woody before, didn't I? And last time I, I said, I feel like that's on a rather large hat. Disappointment is ensuing. I can feel a rather large hat. I feel like that is not Woody. At least it's not Woody. Okay. It's Jesse. <laughs> I felt the hat and I thought, bloody hell, you bought another one of these and you've got the same. So, yeah, we didn't get Vincent, obviously. Vincent was the one. What was. Uh, what was Jesse's odd? Jesse was a 1 in 12, so it's kind of the second bracket. It's the same bracket as the alien. Does that count? Mm. But there we go. We've, we've kind of got the, the woman that has a love interest in Woody, whereas Woody's love interest seems to be Bo Peep. Yeah, there's, there's a little triangle for you. So she can tower over, over him because he's a lot bigger. But again, a quality figure, and I'll put her alongside Woody, actually. So we've got Woody and Jesse, and do you know what? I may treat myself to some more of these one day. Who knows, if I can get enough of them together, do a little video on them, because I like to do that. It helps feed my blind bag addiction problem. So there we go, we've got Jesse. We never got the alien out of the pack, but we got five out of six, which is odds that I, I can't be too disappointed with. Shuffle aside, Piggy, Woody. I feel like I should put you next to next to Woody. Yeah, well, I can't, can't divide five and half equally, so you can go in the middle and be next to Woody. And Bullseye. There's the Roundup crew all together. And, of course, you're not going to stand up very well on my carpeted tile. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've opened up the 10 Toy Story bags. We've got five out of the six characters. Of course, we didn't get the one that I said I wanted the most. And there was a bonus opening of a Funko Mystery Mini for you there as well. If you do like this style of video, I have a playlist on my three blind bag series. I have a playlist on my multiple blind bags opening videos. 
But I also have a playlist of all of them together. All of those series combined, fused into one giant playlist, so you can watch me open up blind bags to your heart's content. As I say, I enjoy making these videos. It helps me feed a little addiction of opening mystery items. That's why I do five random packs as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please just whack a thumbs up. That would be pretty awesome. And as I say, if you do like the style of video, I do gaming as well, but I do a lot of blind bag stuff. So why not subscribe if this is your thing and you find this interesting? Yes, subscribe for more. There we go. Cheap plug at the end. Thank you very much for watching is all I really have left to say. But as always, please do take care.